Imagine a cat. Now, imagine the cat wearing a tuxedo. So cute, right? Now, imagine the cat giving a grand speech to an audience full of mice. How regal. It's so easy to humanize animals, right? We do this all the time with animals, objects, technology, everything. We also call this anthropomorphization. Say that five times fast. To anthropomorphize something is to attribute human form or personality to things that are not human. Many AI chatbots are designed with names, personalities, and conversational quirks to make you feel like you're talking to a person. The problem is, anthropomorphizing AI is a trick to get user engagement, and it creates two big problems. First, it makes us expect human-like understanding that the AI simply doesn't have. And second, it prevents us from taking advantage of the unique inhuman advantages that AI does have. Imagine a situation with me. A product team is developing an AI assistant for a complex data analysis tool. Not very fantastical, right? To make the tool more approachable, they decide to give the AI a friendly human-like persona named Leo, complete with a backstory and a witty sense of humor. During initial testing, user engagement scores are high. People love chatting with Leo. However, significant knock-on effects begin to surface. When Leo makes an inevitable error in data interpretation, users don't see it as a system glitch. Users report feeling a sense of personal betrayal, as if a human colleague had misled them. This makes them less likely to critically engage with the AI's output. At the same time, because users are treating Leo like a person, they're hesitant to give it the complex, multi-layered commands that a machine could handle instantly. They try to be polite by breaking down the requests into simple conversational chunks. The design choice, intended to be helpful, has inadvertently trained users to underutilize the very tool built to empower them. So, when people start interacting with your tool, as if it were sentient or conscious, don't mistake that for an accomplishment. The real question is, why are we encouraging users to think that way? If your design choices lead users to ascribe human traits to an artificial system, that's probably not a good idea for most of your products. It's also not a good idea to promote that way of thinking about your software. Instead of encouraging users to treat AI like a human, we should help users take advantage of the unique benefits of AI, not just the ones that make it feel human-like. By emphasizing explainability and user agency, Gen AI applications can succeed beyond acting like just a best friend. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, enengroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our virtual UX conferences that offer live, hands-on UX training.